Hi again. You're probably getting sick and tired of seeing me all day long, but I have some amazing people I've been meeting who are part of this incredible holiday gift giveaway. So if you're popping on, I'm Debbie Hoffman, and I've got Kathleen Panning on with me now. Hi, Kathleen. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. And so you're probably asking, why am I on so much today? Well, there's just some incredible people that I wanted to introduce you to who are offering amazing free gifts through the 22nd. And so I want them to be able to share what they do and have you, you know, see if it's the right fit. And then you can hop on over to the link that I provided in the post and you can get access to these amazing gifts. So Kathleen, can you just share like a little bit about what you do, how you help people, you know, what problem you solve? Well, um, a little bit about me as a context. Um, I'm a retired pastor, but I'm also mm -hmm. trained by Sally Hogshead who developed a very unique assessment and it's called how to fascinate it's you know, most f assessments are help us kind of understand how we see the world uh, and they're very good they're very important you know they're I, i've done a lot of them and uh, learned a lot about myself through those and this assessment though is very different it's it's built on neuropsych neuroscience and some other things and it helps us understand how other people see us as fascinating when we're at our best i love and, that yeah it, it's it's what i call an outside in perspective because we don't often understand how other people see us yeah. um we might get compliments on things we wear or how we look. We might even get uh, uh, affirmation about things that we do. But for people to tell us about the essence of who we are and say something really good about that is rather unique. And we don't often hear that. And so this assessment helps us begin to understand that because, you know, th there are things that you or I do that are just you know, run of the mill, natural, everyday stuff to us, but somebody else may see that as a real gift. Yes. And we may de devalue it because it's not like somebody else's or, you know, it's just ordinary us. But, I am smiling in, uh, finish your sentence and then I want to share something. Well, it, it you know, it that one little piece or seeming little piece can make all the difference in how we relate to other people and in the value we are able to bring in our relationships and in a business. Yeah. So. so I'm smiling ear to ear because one of the things I, you know, actually one of the assignments that my clients have when they work with me is to ask, you know, people who they know really well, friends, family, people in business, clients, you know, what do they admire and appreciate the most about them? Mm -hmm. And people come back with some amazing things and it just warms their heart because no one's ever shared that. And then they they offer to share, you know, what, what they admire about the other person. So um, it's just a little little bit of what you do, I'm sure. But it's just mm -hmm. such a powerful exercise. So, so yeah. I love that you've built a business around helping people uncover their uniqueness and, mm -hmm. and bringing it into the world. So that's great. Yeah. And um, just a, a real quick little story. I, I uh, met a, a gentleman recently who uh, he was asked by a former employer to to do something that meant finding some information. And the the task he was given was uh, to find some information about an individual in a massive department in the United States government. And you know he had just a tidbit of information to go on to try and find this person. And he came back in five minutes with a name and a phone number. And his boss said, you know, this is impossible. Nobody can do this. And for him, this was just an ordinary thing. But to find out that this is a gift he has, and now yeah. he's built a whole business around being able to do that in another context uh, to help uh, families and, and children and things like that. And so, uh, you know, that's the power of knowing those gifts that we have that we don't even know our gifts. And wow. 
that can fascinate somebody else. That's so amazing. Yeah. So you help people take, they take this assessment and they get to find out what their unique gifts are. Mm -hmm. And then, and then what do you do with that? What's the next step? Well, uh, as when we go through the whole assessment, which I'm, is a separate thing than what I'm doing right now, but uh, it, it helps people understand, okay, how do they communicate? How do people hear them when they communicate? Kind of in what language are you speaking? And there are basically seven different fascination advantages or languages that people speak. And we each have all seven of them. But, you know, we tend to be either right-handed or left-handed. Very few of us are totally ambidextrous. And so we go to one or the other. And so one of these is our primary me means of fascinating somebody else. And that's kind of the language of fascination that we normally speak and how people normally see us. And once we know that, we can use that as a way to, in a sense, kind of brand ourselves and mm -hmm. our business. Uh, and there's a way to develop a tagline for ourselves or our business uh, based on that kind of thing. And it's also a way to begin to, uh, once we know these seven different advantages, to be able to understand other people, to be able to see, oh, that person's using a different advantage than I am. And that's why I may see something is not quite right, or it may uh, feel awkward or odd because they're not doing it the same way I am. And usually when people don't do things the same way, that can lead to miscon miscommunications yeah. and some problems and, you know, friction, personality conflicts. But if we understand these different ways of fascinating, we can bridge a lot of that and begin to value the gifts in other people as well. And so it can be used to build a staff, to build a team, to learn how to work together with other people. It can be used in uh, relationships within your home, uh, personal relationships, uh, like with a, a spouse or a partner. Um, sometimes the people closest to us are very different than we are. And some of those differences are things that bring us joy, but sometimes they can rub a little raw as well. So under, understanding that that's somebody else's strength and gift can help to smooth that over and value and appreciate the other person. So I love that. Yeah. That's so what's, also part of the possibilities here. That's fabulous. So what's the gift that you're offering to everyone? The, the gift is an introduction to the how to fascinate material. And it's um, the first part of the gift is um, for 15, the first 15 people who sign up is a one hour a consultation coaching session with me to wow. begin to understand how somebody might be fascinating and how to potentially use these um, this assessment and what they find out from it. And you know, once those fifteen slots are taken, I've opened up another thirty uh, laser coaching slots for people, for the next 30 people, and for a 15 to 20 minute laser coaching session to, to work on that. Uh, that's not on the page. So that's an additional little treat that I've just started today. Awesome. And, and then the other part of the gift for everybody is an ebook. Uh, it's 35 pages, but it's a quick read. And it shows people, you know, we can, any advantage can, if it's overdone and pushed too far can be a disadvantage. And okay. when that happens um, to us, we become, I tr use the term alligators, because we can kind of snip and bite at other people, and, and or it feels that way for other people. And this is some tips about how to identify when somebody is being that way, or when you are, we are ourselves being that way, what might be going on, and why, and then some proactive, positive, good ways to respond. Wow, to so generous, that's amazing. So um, for those of you who are listening, I have the link in the post to uh, just click on that link and it will give you access to 40 amazing gifts. And one of them is Kathleen. So there's just incredible amount of variety and 
just all sorts of different tools um, that are just, you know, all these contributors have been so generous. So please get over, go over there. It is um, available. All these gifts are available till December 22nd at midnight. So thank you, Kathleen, for sharing your brilliance with us. And I can't wait to dive into your ebook. I'm going to download it, my, you know, request it myself. So I just think it's fascinating and just so in alignment with what, you know, I'm all about because it's, you know, it's all about finding out what your unique, you know, what your uniqueness is and being able to articulate it to people so they know why they should work with you versus working with someone else. So that's how I see it really fitting well into, into what I do and to help people with their business. Cause there's so many, there's so much competition these days and yes. people need to know why should they work with you? Why should they choose you over all these thousands of other people that, that do what you do? Yeah, so, one of, I love it. One of, yeah. One of Sally Hogshead's uh, statements is different is better than better. Uh, I love what it. Makes us different is being is better than trying to be better than somebody else. I love that. That's so yeah. brilliant. Love it. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to get on tonight and to share your brilliance with us and just want to wish everybody happy holidays and um we'll be uh talking to you guys soon thank you debbie thank you so much and happy holidays to everyone too thanks say bye for now bye bye